Hey, everybody, it's the coach. You're tuned in to Sunday Night Football on EA Sports. Coming up, we'll see the 15-year veteran Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers as they take on Derek Carr and the Oakland Raiders. So with that, let's get out to the East Bay and Oakland, California. On the call, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It is a building that first hosted football way back in 1966 as EA Sports coverage of the National Football League brings us to Oakland, California. This was the scene a few minutes ago. The folks around the stadium clad in silver and black going to make every last game played in Oakland count. They're ready to go as their Raiders get set to match up with the Green Bay Packers. From up top, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles Davis, as always, with me as well. And CD, defenses better be on their toes in this one because we got two quarterbacks who love to throw the football, and they throw it very well. Over 4,000 yards each in the previous season. So what you're saying is, if you're a defender, hope you're prepared properly. Hydrated, stretched, be on your toes, as you said, because the ball's coming your way. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This is taken at his four. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Packers take the field. Aaron Rodgers at the helm. 2019 marking his 12th season as the Packers starter. 15th season overall. Last year for Rodgers, 25 touchdown passes, just two interceptions. their leading rusher from a season ago. This is Aaron Jones. And he'll get about four across the 30 to the 32. Quickly now, here's a look at the Green Bay offense. It's tough to be an offensive lineman in Green Bay because their quarterback, Aaron Rodgers, knows how to keep plays alive and often extends them for three, four, five, six seconds. But David Bakhtiari, his left tackle, he does it as well as anyone could ever expect. Excellent footwork, knows that the plays are going to stay alive for a long time, often will get two or three blocks on the same play. To throw on second and six, Rodgers. And this is caught, Mercedes Lewis with a grab. And he'll bring it up here to right at the 40-yard line. That one, a first down pickup of eight. When an offense reads blitz, doesn't matter where it's coming from, tight ends know that they become a big part of the passing game because they should be an easy outlet when all those extra bodies are trying to get to the quarterback. A hot route, so to speak. They go play action here on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. It'll be a gain of four, and that'll make this a second down. And we take a look now at the defense for the Raiders. I saw Brandon Marshall play in college at Nevada, and what impressed me about his game was not just his ability to evade blocks, but his ability to also take them on, shed them, and get to ball carriers has a lot of toughness about him in his game. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Now Rodgers. Man open, that's Marquez Valdez-Scantlick. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. 12 yards there and a first down. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory at the 43. Kill, kill, kill. From the shotgun, a give to Jones. And he'll be brought down at about the 42. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. And this is why aggressive defense coordinators love to blitz. It wreaks havoc because they end up taking their attention to the blitzers, freed up the D linemen to make the play. 
Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. On second and nine, Rodgers open on the left side. This is Valdez Scantley. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. How about the start throwing the football? Four for four on this opening drive. Oh, he's slinging it. And oftentimes when you talk about slinging it, you're thinking about a guy throwing it all over the yard, not necessarily accurately. In this case, though, he's honing in on his targets, and he's delivering. Yeah, the opening script. However, they drew it up for this first drive, going to plan so far. Rodgers will bring him up to the line, first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. His throw caught right around the six. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. His passing's been on point on this drive, hasn't it? Been very accurate, gotten the ball downfield, gained nice chunks of yardage, but now, in this situation, the field is really condensed, partner. So if he's gonna throw the football, that have to be pinpointing here. I was, I was gonna ask you about that. Field shrinks, has to be sharper, but it's been a good opening drive so far. Now they just wanna see if they can cap it off with the bell ringer and put it in the end zone. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. The third year back from BYU, Jamal Williams with a carry. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And yeah, now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? Second and goal from the six this time. Williams will try again. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, but now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? And now some motion before the snap. Offense. And this will be our first penalty of the night's proceedings. And that'll set them back five. Still third down. A bad time for a false start penalty as they're backed up now for third and goal. Shotgun now for Rodgers. And he's going to take it in. Touchdown, Packers. From six yards away. And the Packers take it right down the field and score on the opening drive. That was a really good opening drive on a number of fronts. Ten plays, very methodical, set the tone. So you know right now, if you're on the defensive side of the ball, you're on the sideline saying, okay, what do we have to dial up in order to get off the field a lot faster? Because both sides are out there for 10 plays, but one side comes off energized, and the other side comes off with some questions. Extra point up and good by Crosby, and that makes the score 7-0. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And the result, a Green Bay score. For the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This is fielded at the goal line. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. 
So now it's the Raiders' turn to go on offense for the first time. They'll be let out by their quarterback out of Fresno State. It's the pro bowler, Derek Carr. It's been fun to watch Derek Carr grow as a pro. When he was a rookie, they tried to game plan around him so that he didn't have too much responsibility. Now, I don't think they can heap enough things on his shoulders because they know he can handle them. Carr and the Raiders come up first and 10, just shy of the 30. Now Carr. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Called at a very strong gain of 24. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to want to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. It's Darren Waller. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. When this offense can get their tight ends involved, they can move the football. Here, a nice route, able to look it in, and picks up the first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Carr with a play fake to Jacobs. He's going to go up top for the ends. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Jair Alexander. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Well, they didn't exactly show patience there, did they? Just down the score, they come out firing right away and compound things by throwing an interception. They put their defense in a really tough spot. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7-0 lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7-0 lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he will lose yardage on the play back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there and now second down. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter and it's our visitors with the football as they've got it second down and 11. Second and 11 now. Rodgers to Valdez Scantling over the middle. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. 
and that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. On the counter, here's Jones. And a five-yard gain gets him to the 42. Partner, I think from our experience together, we have learned that most offensive coordinators are going to tell you, if I'm going to run the football on first down, I've got to get at least four yards. They got five here. They've got to feel pretty good about that one. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. Here's Rodgers to throw. It's caught out right by Graham. And they're well past midfield, just a yard or two shy of the 40. 16 yards, a first down. It certainly feels like there are more stars at the tight end position than there were even 10 years ago. And I think it's become more of a glamour position because of the ways it can hurt a defense, and guys want to be involved. They can be in line, close to the line of scrimmage. They can split out like receivers. But hands, route running, speed, and some toughness to go across the middle, you put it all together, you get a heck of a tight end candidate. Rodgers will bring him up to the line first and 10. And he's 8 for 8 now, throwing the ball to start the game. Now this throw caught left side. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That one goes for 24 yards. is inside the 10 to the 9. It's also a gain of 9. It's funny, throughout the time that we've been together when we talk with running backs about the ability to catch the ball, their eyes light up when they talk about open field and having one-on-one -on -one matchups, don't they? Yeah, they do, and that's the reason why. What we just saw, shedding those tackles, and that's what they're used to doing. It is, and it starts at the beginning of the play, one-on-one -on -one matchup of someone trying to cover them, but they also like those one-on-ones downfield after the catch when they're running with the ball. They think they're gonna win those too. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves them with a very manageable second and one. Rodgers with a give, it's Aaron Jones. And he's able to get it down to the two yard line. Six yards to pick up and that's a first down. At this stage of the game, the run pass numbers are a little bit out of whack because most of the yardage has come through the air. But in a sense, that just sets things up for big runs like that because the defense might be a little bit off balance. They pick up another first down with that run. Working from the gun, Rodgers. And that is caught, but the back judge right there to say incomplete. He was trying to find Equinemius St. Brown, but it'll be second and goal. Down this close to the goal line, first down. Surprised that wasn't a run? I am, and you know I'm old school. I want to run the ball first down in this situation because second down, that gives me an option of running play action, maybe throwing it. Second down and goal. Rodgers under a heavy rush, and down he goes. Cleveland Farrell. It'll go as a loss of about eight as he gets in there to drop it. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. A 
reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. This will be caught just inside the 10. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. So on now for the Packers at their all-time leading scorer, Mason Crosby. From the right hash, and this one just a chippy. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and the lead moves to 10 Zim. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. Is it okay if I give credit to both sides on this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal. And for the offense, 10-play drive. They might be a little disappointed they got a field goal, but they moved the ball down the field with dispatch and came away with points. After the main field goal, now Crosby will do the kickoff duties. This will be taken in at the one. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Now the Oakland offense heading back onto the field to take over. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Three bucks. Three bucks. You ready? What's up? Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. Let's just break this down and make it pretty simple. Key to the drag route, letting the play develop, finding the hole in the defense, and giving your athlete, yes, athlete, a chance to make something happen once he has the ball in his hands. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. To throw again on second down. Carr, this one to Foster Moreau, the rookie from LSU. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. Give them 14 on that one and a first down. Now the Raiders going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Jacobs on first and 10. And this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. The loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and set things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. A gain of 28 yards there and give them a first down. And there they went crossing route against the zone defense. What do you think of that? It takes real coordination between the passer and the receiver because you've got to read those zones and where the open spots are and be on the same page with the guy throwing the football because sometimes you're throwing it in front of the zone. Sometimes you're throwing it between the zone. Sometimes the receiver's going to just kind of find a spot and what we call sit down and present himself to the quarterback and throw it there. It's a tough read, but when they're in sync, it's really effective. That's complete to Richard, the running back. And he'll be out of bounds, able to get it down to the 25 there. So 
So three seconds here remain in the half. On is the field goal unit to see about getting three points. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Oh, they get to the football. It's blocked. So we've come to halftime here with the visiting Packers out on top. As we'll send you back over to Orlando with our EA Sports Halftime Report, here's Jonathan Coachman. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon God. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Now comes the Raiders offense. They'll go on offense first to start quarter number three. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But, but this is a do that? I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Car now on first down. This is caught by Antonio Brown. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. On first down, it's Jacobs. Vanderbilt's own Oren Burks had the tackle defensively. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. On second down, Jacobs. And he's going to bowl his way forward to the 48. And there's a run to be happy with. Good, solid yardage. He'll take that any time you hand the ball to a back. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Trying to run for it with Jacobs. And the broken tackle helps lead to a first down gain. So just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. And that's why he's been a first round draft pick on a running back. Not for just the fancy runs, but these dirty, gritty third and ones, third and twos. That's why you draft him. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move, first and 10. Now they'll throw with Carr. Got a man over the middle, it's Williams. Now the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A gain of four last play, they double that here and get eight. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Carr going to throw. 
Rush coming, and he's taken down. Zadarius Smith gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. Well, that takes to start to have a good drive. Quite like a big loss on a sack, does it? No, now they're looking at a third and long, and suddenly the momentum shifted to the other side of the football. And old Mo is a very, very fickle man. Carr and the Raiders following the sack, looking up at a third and long. Shotgun now for Carr. And that is incomplete. And what would the dive look that time on defense? Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. Here's the Raiders punter now, as he's on to punt for the first time tonight. Packers bring pressure and they block it. It's picked up, remember the ball is live. 20, 10, and they will score. It's a Packer touchdown. In for the score, and the Packers add on to their lead. Still plenty of time left in the game, but now starting to pull away a little bit, get some breathing room with that one. And I don't want people to think that NFL locker rooms are cookie cutter, that everyone's saying the exact same thing in every situation. But I do know that all 32 teams have an emphasis on starting fast. Game, you know, the second half, no matter what, whether well, it's first five minutes, first three, whatever, this was a big score to start the second half. Extra point try now for Crosby. He's got it, and it's 17 0. Touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. And now Oakland ready to take the field. They're down 17-0, really needing to find that offensive spark on this drive as they have it with a first and 10. come up first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. On the ground, it's Jacobs to start the drive, and he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. Blake Martinez, the NFC's leading tackler a year ago, in on the stop. He can rack up those tackles in bunches in the run game from that middle linebacker spot. And what he has to do is make sure he congratulates the guys in front and tells them thanks a lot because as the guy in the middle, the Mike linebacker, you're counting on your front three, your front four, if you're five, whatever you've got in front of you to take up all the blocking, allow you to roam and hit. And that's what he did on that play. He lost two there, and it's third down. But if these guys are going to chop into that deficit, they got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage would be found. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. 
Working from the gun, it's Carr. And a throw there, gonna be incomplete. Oh, yeah! It's never a bad idea to try and get it to Antonio Brown, but there must be a little bit of the Madden curse going on for our cover athlete here. Hasn't been able to get that elite separation that we're used to seeing from him. Here's the Raiders punter now. On for his second punt, and remember, his first one was blocked. A well-hit ball there. 50 yards on the punt, three on the return. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That Their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? They'll start the drive with a carry by Jones. And he'll get this one up to the 26. Two yards on the pick up there. It'll be second and eight. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Throwing on second and eight. Rodgers looking deep for Adams. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. And you just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. Shotgun now for Rodgers. Looks to throw, fires right side. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage, too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's J.K. Scott now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. A good return there, call it 13 yards. And the Raiders will take over now first and 10. come up first and 10 right at the 30. They'll begin on the ground with Jacobs. He takes this from the 30 to the 34. One quarter remains here on a Sunday night. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. the pickup of four here's second and six throwing now is Carr over the middle here to Brown and they get him down but not before he takes it across the 40 yard line it's a first down on a gain of 10 Hard to believe his first catch of the game defensively. They bottled him up. That's why they're well on their way to victory. Put your best cover guy on him and then change the coverages behind him throughout the game. Brackets, double, zone, man, you name it. Make sure he gets a lot of angles. Now Carr. 
Over the middle, he's got Tyrell Williams. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. Back-to-back -back nice gains. That one for 14 yards and another first. Carnell, six for six since coming back out of the locker room. It's first and 10. From the gun, it's Carr. And that'll be incomplete. J.J. Nelson, the intended target, but it'll be second down. Another wayward pass. You know, things started out poorly in this game, and to be frank, they just really haven't gotten much better. And all that does is embolden a secondary. They feel good about what's going on, and they just play better and better. Now Carr, after the incomplete pass, brings him up second and 10. Carr now to throw, and this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, it just seems like all game long, there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start matching each other's movements. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. They get seven there, but it brings up fourth. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. A critical one here if they're going to have any shot at this thing. So they'll go for it on fourth down. They go with Jacobs. And this doesn't end well at all as they stop him far behind the line to gain. The Raiders try it on fourth down, but to no avail. And the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. Well, they were looking for a clutch play there on fourth, unable to come up with it. How about that defense, though, huh? How about that D? Yeah, momentum fourth. swing. And, you know, I remember playing how much fourth downs were emphasized. You know, because, as you said, it's a momentum play. It's also a big test for you. You know, if people are going to go for it on fourth down, they believe you're not up to the challenge. You want to show them differently. Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at their 38. And an alley to run. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. I know that every now and then we get in those meetings with coaches, and you almost want to roll your eyes when they talk about staying on schedule when they're moving the football. But would you say a seven-yard run is ahead of schedule? Fourth quarter with the lead, you love that, don't you? No doubt about it, because staying on schedule is trying to get four downs on first down. They did that plus three. On second down, it's Jones. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. It's the linebacker, Brandon Marshall, there on the tackle. He continues to struggle to find a crease to break off a big one and might need to just put that aside and just try and ram his way forward and get what he can. The Packers on third down, just one for three thus far. This time it's third and three. They'll go again to Jones. And he's got enough for the first across midfield to the 48. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. And no doubt what they're looking to do is just salt away the final couple of minutes and escape with a win. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. So statistically, both of these offenses have a rough time getting a running game going. But boy, what a nice play there defensively. Tackling him behind the line, but you're right. You look at the numbers. Neither side looks on track in the ground game. Let's go. 
On second down, it's Jones. He gets them a little over half of what they need, and now they're looking at a third and five. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. On third down, here's Williams. Just a yard on the run there, and that's going to bring us to a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no gain. Here's J.K. Scott now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. So it's all over, a Green Bay victory, and they did it in shutout fashion, impressive. Would it be too bland of a statement to say they didn't have the greatest day offensively? I uh, mean, you Did know. enough though, did enough, but yeah, you're right. Most games, it wouldn't have been enough. So they've got to go into the locker room and applaud their defensive mates and say, guys, you really carried us today. We'll try and get you back next time. But as for today, you guys were nails out there. So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from Oakland.